Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. I'm Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Now we've been walking around the historic national parks, learning, learning stuff. about stuff, about John <laughs> Brown and the armory raids, and I was like, wow, this is really interesting, but I wish there was a funner way to learn this stuff. More touristy. And I found it right here, because we were about to go in the John Brown Wax Museum. So all the knowledge that we could learn about his 1859 raid, we're gonna get it in wax figures. So step right up, let's go for this ride. <laughs> John Brown Wax Museum, 87 life-size figures. Relive the fascinating, exciting life story of John Brown, Youth to the Gallows. The story unfolds with sound animation, starting with right here. I don't know if we can see him. We have John Brown in the window. Maybe we can see him once we head in. Let's check it out, Joe. Let's go in. You ready, Mom? We're gonna see John Brown. John Brown wants to him some history. The creator was in 1963. Wow. <laughs> gonna go learn it all, Mom. After you? After me? Uh. Wax Museum of the Underground Railroad, you see? Slaves being hidden in the ceiling. We've already saw John Brown as a child seeing the slave walk chain, realizing the bad of it. John Brown's violent anti slavery actions did not start with his raid on Harper's Ferry. Three years before the Harper's Ferry raid, John Brown led a group of men in Kansas who unmercifully and cold bloodedly murdered three slavery sympathizers. We learned that it was actually John Brown's sons that did the killing of those men in Kansas. So it said, Owen Brown and one of the brothers killed them with broadsword. John Brown Sr. did not participate in the stabbing, but fired a shot into the head of the fallen James Doyle to ensure he was dead. We have John Brown, age 58. By the late 50s, John Brown was so fanatically anti-slavery, he was planning to make an independent nation in Canada that would be a safe spot for free slaves. Here at the Kennedy Farmhouse, John Brown prepares for his raid on Harper's Fair. His plan was to steal guns from the United States arsenal located there. With these guns, John Brown planned to arm escaped slaves and help them set up a refuge in the Virginia mountains. Behind you is the Harper's Ferry train station the evening of the raid. Ironically, the first person to be killed by the raiding party was a freed slave, Shepherd Hayward. And I like you can see the um, what were they called, Joy? The spikes, the the pikes, pikes, pikes that he had made in Connecticut. Coming, oh look, they snuck them in in, in Bible boxes. I love the old wax figure. The eyes are <laughs> weird looking. Okay. Yeah. Early morning in Harper's Ferry, John Brown and his men rounded up some townspeople and held them hostage in the small Harper's Ferry engine Doesn't look like it went good for him. The next day, federal troops under the command of Robert E. Lee a very bloody wax museum and surrounded the engine house. Hello? They're taking him by force. Yeah, nice. Twelve Marines led by Lieutenant Lee Smashed it's crazy, U.S. Marines under Robert E. Lee. He overtook Brown and his men. Here, John Brown, himself injured by a saber slash, supports his dying son, Oliver. <sighs> I must be crazy. We have the governor of Virginia, Henry A. Wise, and Colonel Lewis W. Washington, who was one of Brown's hostages, asking an injured Brown questions. Here we actually have the trial of John Brown. Imagine that he had to lay in the bed like that to his trial because he was injured. <sighs> the last goodbye here, John and Mary Brown say their last goodbyes to Brown at the cell in Charleston before they lead him to the gallows. Joe, you're going to do it? You're going to hang John Brown? I, I'm going for it. <sighs> see, he's... He's walking up to the gallows. I like he still has a noble look in his face. Yeah. 
for the drop in New Jersey. He wanted to free the black people of this nation to lift the sin of slavery from the conscience of America. His soul was marching on. I like that. So goes marching on. So there you have it, folks. The John Brown Wax Museum here in Harpers Ferry. I absolutely love it. Um, we go to a lot of wax museums, obviously. It's great for the cheesiness, like. I didn't think it was cheesy. Well, no, 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 no. Like some, like some of like the, the I might wax say, figures. Yeah, the wax were figures might be a little outdated. outdated. Yes, that is a word I will use. But. The spot does look like a fire hazard as you're going up and down these little hallways. But overall, on that note, like the... You know, know the thing about the fire hazard? I'm just very happy about something, Joy. What? In 2015, there was a big fire oh, here in Harpers Ferry that yeah. burnt down a bunch of buildings. Glad that wax didn't melt. Ooh. Because that would just... That, that would have been, been sad. That would have been like one whole huge candle then. Ooh, yeah. John Brown <laughs> drip candle. Candles. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. Get it? Get it on oh. hot. Yeah. No, no, but it's a cool museum. No, if you I find, like how it's portrayed with yeah. like the whole thing about it. If you do come to see the National Park Harpers Ferry, stay for the Wax Museum. Mm -hmm. It's actually so, really uh, cute. I like yeah. it. It's John Brown Wax Museum. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels, good eats, and, and live life. To the gallows. Joe, you're going to do it? You're going to hang John Brown? I 